All right, it's another week, so another chance to sit down, really come to terms with what I've been doing, what I've been thinking, all that sort of thing. Um, this week, I just sort of want to focus on one thing, uh, and that is specifically an idea, a framework I've been kind of building over in my head for a little bit, and uh, it's mostly, mostly, a, what's the term, a continuation of the concept I had when it came to uh, the previous lecture I did about institutional institutional acts, how we're dealing with like non-institutional actors and whatnot, and how it relates to a general trend that I think most people see. Um, I don't think it's a... <laughs> it's, it's not wild for me to say that there is a general trend of uh, great division and kind of putting down this idea that <laughs> uh, people on the other side are just so far gone they're impossible to talk to, but I think... Uh, for me, part of that is I don't want to get caught up in that. I never want to get caught up in the idea that there is just an entire group of people that I will never be able to communicate with because I think they're, that they're so far gone or whatnot. And the framework I've been developing around that is, is mostly, I think, in response to this general notion that has been popping up that um, just a huge group of people are too... Um, too unintelligent, or rather, I, I think a lot of people use the word stupid. And I think stupid is a fine way of putting it, um, but it's generally, I don't think most people are unintelligent. I think, I, I actually believe that most people are quite intelligent, in that specifically, um, nobody goes about their day-to-day -day life trying to formulate a, a poor model of the world. Everyone is attempting to come to formulate a model of the world that best describes uh, reality as they understand it, um, and that requires forethought. That re that requires knowledge. That does require being able to take different ideas, sometimes seemingly inconsequential ideas, in, uh, disconnected ideas, being able to put it together in such a way that um, it it creates a more holistic narrative uh, for reality, and. <clears throat> because of that, I like even if I'm talking to somebody who's uh, really like in some area that I just I, I personally can't understand. So if I'm speaking with a flat earther, for example, um, they're they they've somehow gotten to their conception of the world in a way that I can't understand it. But I don't think they got there because they were just stupid, uh, or rather, I think stupid would be applicable, but that they didn't do so unintelligently. I think they actually did so quite intelligently that they formulated from basic ideas and built up from there. Um, and the, the general notion I've been working at is less how do I deal with the, the top level um, top level statements that somebody makes about reality and more how do I understand the, the foundational things. Uh, this framework, I don't think it's like super useful. I don't think it's fully fleshed out, but it's, it's kind of a... A general framework I've, I've been kind of utilizing when I'm trying to talk with people um, more recently in that all ideas are kind of uh, built on multiple layers of foundation and by that I mean like when we're young we, we generally tend to come across little aspects of the world little ideas of the world um, and we actually are pretty good when we're young at picking up and discarding information uh, as it comes to us, but by the time somebody hits their uh, teens, late teens, uh, early 20s, things start to formulate. It starts to become a more concrete idea of the world, and sometimes it, sometimes people are very, very aware of where these like little foundations are from like childhood, but um, sometimes it's, it's not as much. There's an entire layer that they've built of, uh, around their conception of reality and of people and of politics and whatnot that they essentially use this to be able to uh, build on top of. And sometimes they're aware of it, sometimes they're not. And I try to figure out what, what more that inner layer is, because I feel like what ends up happening, uh, when it comes to a lot of discussion I see nowadays, it's not that people are, um, people are disagreeing on more foundational things. It, it really does appear to me that people ha are working on a very top level. Um, which isn't bad, it's not stupid. 
I don't think working on the top layer is stupid. It's just people have this assumption of everyone working up from the same foundations, and then they just assume that if they say sort of the right two or three things, the other side is just going to uh, fully agree with them. Like, oh, isn't this crazy? Look at this one thing. It, it completely validates my entire foundation, which is like 20 different interconnected ideas of how reality is. And it just, it seems to be making conversation worse overall. Obviously, like, we're talking about a world that is way more divided, or at least that's what people are saying. It appears to be way more divided, and I don't think... I think generally that seems to be the notion. I think most people agree with that. But I think generally... It's... By adopting more of this framework of... Like, okay, there's... People, people don't disagree on just the top layer stuff. If I push back on an idea, I have to understand that there is probably three or four different foundational, more bedrock layers of concepts that I haven't been able to hit and that um, I'm not fully aware of and possibly the person I'm talking to isn't even fully aware of. And it could be very, very simple things. So um, the flat earth example, it's just generally things that go up, go up, and then they go down. And why do they go up and down? And then you know, just general observ observational uh, knowledge. You look out and you see a flat earth. And then when somebody comes along and tells you, actually, this whole thing is um, this big, giant, spinning globe, um, sometimes that come th that hits the top layer. Uh, it already hits multiple foundations of like, no, 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 this is what reality is. And then there's other interconnected things, such as um, creationism usually pops up when it comes to flat earth. <coughs> ideas of aeronautics, of space, um, a lot of these tend to become very, very interconnected. So when somebody comes to you and says, like, gravity is a... Is a when somebody goes to a flat earther and just tells them, like, it's gravity, that's just how it works, they're like, well, no, you haven't dealt with this, and you haven't dealt with that, and you haven't dealt with... Like, again, sometimes people are aware of what those layers are, sometimes they're not. And it, it tends to make... Uh, make communication very very frustrating when you're you're talking with somebody and you realize you're hitting sort of a bedrock thing and you can't move from that um but i'm more trying to figure out how to see that positively um if i'm able to make contact with that bedrock i think i'm hitting something more fundamental and i i think um that could be a very good thing it also could be a very bad thing because sometimes when you hit foundation it becomes it is a very very tough nerve and I, i've certainly been in multiple uh conversations with people where um it'll be just sort of a normal conversation we're having a conversation about like policy and then um i'll say something that i find generally to be inoffensive and i i think um pretty above board and then it just goes zero to 100 <laughs> suddenly it's like everything i'm saying is undermine the, the the values that they espouse on a fundamental level it's like ooh, okay i i hit a nerve there and i think that that plays into that it's sometimes if you hit a little too close to the foundation you've now hit upon the concept uh, like not only the concept of how they shape reality but how they place themselves in relation to that reality how they how they view themselves um, which I think is actually quite interesting. I'm not really talking about um, this sort of thing because it's it's like, ooh, I've, I've d discovered the secret of being able to communicate with people, but it's, it's just sort of like I've been thinking about that a little bit more and how I can utilize this um, to be more, I suppose, uh, understanding of where I am in a conversation with somebody and how I can be more aware of whether or not I'm hitting something that might be a soft spot, but also if the conversation seems to be providing fruit in that either um, we're getting close to more foundational ideas that I have or foundation, uh, foundational ideas that they have. Um, and I think going forward, it, it could be a useful paradigm, but I, I don't know, entirely useful. <laughs> it's certainly certainly not something I, I would argue should be adopted completely because it's, it's more off the cuff than anything. Um, so, I don't know, just just kind of an interesting thing. Might be interesting. I, I've been able to speak with a couple people on that and they, I've gotten some good feedback about that as a general framework. Um, but also that, like, <laughs> the, these sorts of questions are so complex that, quite frankly, no one really knows. <laughs> which is good. Which, uh, those are the fun questions when no one really knows the answer. Um, on a more personal note, uh, I am coming up to my last few months where I am 
Uh, I'm going to be leaving here in about a, in a little over two months, I think, like two months in a week. <laughs> and I'm going to be heading off to my new college, and I'm actually like, I'm at that spot where it's like, oh my god, I'm going to be able to hit the, the I'm, I'm fully going to be able to hit the reset button on on my life. And like at this point, I've, I've been able to cut off most of what I got going on here, and I'm going to be able to go over there and just start over. I mean, financially, socially, um, culturally, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be going back more to the types of people that, eh, okay, sometimes in some aspect, uh, people I'm more familiar with, but at the same time, also, um, there's going to be plenty of, plenty of people in the environment I'm going to where I'm just going to be like, what are you, what planet are you from? Um, so, uh, yeah, probably a, a good example of why I'm thinking about this framework, because I, I realize I'm going to be jumping into um, sort of a sector, sort of a, a crowd of people that I know I'm going to have disagreements with, and I I don't want to go into that environment just being like, okay, let's knock some heads, because that, <laughs> that is not going to win me uh, any favors. Um, I, I got to be able to, you know, work with people, because, again, I'm starting out brand new if if i start out swinging oh boy that that's i'm gonna go over there just to fall flat on my face so um as it is um they, there's some other things i've been working on this week but for the most part i, I just sort of wanted to focus on those because the it, those thoughts keep popping up whenever i'm like i got my free time and i'm laying down and just sort of thinking about what i'm planning uh what i'm gonna be doing over the next half a year or so so uh yeah i guess that's it for this week's spiel um thank you for putting up with that if you if you got to this portion uh, you got more patience than i do because honestly i probably would have a while ago <laughs> uh anyway as is thank you uh hope you have a good one